So I've got my potatoes cleaned and washed and peeled. Really, I can get, I think I can get four. About three quarters of an inch in the center. That looks good. So what I want to do first is square it off. I'm going to square off my pieces, about two inches long. this hand to hold the potato I can hold it either like this sometimes that gets in the way or I can hold it like this when I do my tournée if you notice I hold my knife a little bit choked up in my hand I don't hold it all the way down here I want to use the first inch inch and a half of the knife so I choke up a little bit I've got it in my hand I'm not cutting into the blade at all it's very safe it's very comfortable it's really this finger that's doing much of the holding and this part of my thumb, this muscle, is gonna help pull the knife through. You notice I keep that thumb on the bottom and that's gonna help me pull the knife through. Once again, starting at about a 45 degree angle, the knife to the potato, I'm gonna do my cut. And I wanna do a nice smooth facet. And curve that around. Keep doing this nice. This will be frustrating at first when you first try it. But like anything, practice makes perfect, or ideally perfect practice makes perfect. So if you're practicing it wrong, you're gonna come up with a bad outcome. So there we have a torne potato. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sides, about three quarters of an inch in the center, about two inches long. I'll do the rest of these. Once again, starting with my knife at a 45 degree angle and noticing when I cut, it ends at that same angle. And the main thing here is I'm trying to get them uniform so they cook in about the same amount of time. So that looks pretty good. There's my four tournées, look nice and uniform for chateau potatoes. I'm gonna do the rest of the potatoes uh, and then we'll cook them. All right, so I've got my potatoes, they've been drained and I dried them with a paper towel, a little bit of clarified butter in my saute pan, so you need to get nice and hot. Put my potatoes to it. Give them a little bit of a toss to coat them real well. So what I wanna do is I just wanna start the browning process. A little bit of salt. Just the right amount. And black pepper. Give that a little toss. Get them really nice and coated with the butter. The oil on the outside is going to help give us that nice crisp exterior. Uh, very similar to French fries. What we're looking for is a very nice brown golden crisp exterior, nice soft fluffy interior. Starting to see a slight bit of color develop, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven. One more good toss. Once again, that'll go for about 20 minutes, and I'll check it about every five minutes to uh, give them a toss. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna check the potatoes. Starting to brown, it stays a little bit more firm. So that'll go back in the oven. All right, I think we're ready to pull the potatoes out of the oven. It's been about 25 minutes. Yeah, see we got some really nice color on there. Yeah. There we go. Pad was a little thin. Some really nice color. Chateau potatoes. Finish them with a little bit of parsley after I'm done. Start heating them the second time. 